The Norwegian operator Aka BP has for many years explored to find a safer, better and more cost-effective rigless P&A solutions. Now they think they found it. For over 50 years, bridge plugs and cement has been the common solution in plug-in abandonment operation and still is the material of choice. However, failures have been reported on occasions and some have resulted in fatal consequences. Actually, I think the industry is looking for an alternative to cement as a barrier element. Oka BP has, together with Ultus Intervention, uncovered a new way of doing PMA operations with a five-man per shift wireline crew. Cost is an issue for PMA. We need to do this more cost efficient. We're looking at, you know, up to say 90% of cost reduction based on the standard rig operation when we do it regular. In mid-September 2018, the world largest bismuth plug was set in the Bolhull field at the Norwegian Continental Shelf, demonstrating the concept. This is the first step in qualifying bismuth as a barrier element in PNA. OKBP selected Altus Intervention as the partner of choice and challenged them to convey with Eline the world largest bismuth plug to create a seal in the 1858 casing. The scale of the plug is beyond normal standards concerning weight, size and setting procedures. When we looked at the, the concept uh, for how to install this uh, bismuth plug, we knew it would be really heavy. To give you an idea, the bismuth plug is 4.5 ton, including the setting tools, and 10 meters long. That's like conveying four mid-sized cars, 380 meters, on a wireline cable with a diameter of 1.1 centimeter. The measurement of the plug, one set, is half a meter wide and two meters high. There were critical moments during the operation and the need for accurate precision was crucial. The bismuth plug consists of utilizing a modified thermite chemical reaction heater to melt bismuth-based alloys downhole. The melted alloys have a viscosity similar to water and specific gravity 10 times of water, allowing them to flow into the smallest areas of wellbore without the need of any surface pumping equipment. As the alloys cool and solidify, they expand to provide a seamless gas-tight seal. The entire process from melting to solidification takes place in a couple of hours. The heater was pulled out from the melted alloy after 37 minutes. This means that if you extract too early, the plug is not melted. And if you extract too late, you risk that the setting tool is stuck in the plug. Oka BP, Bisson and Altus Intervention started preparing and planning the operation. The first task was to engineer a special wireline cable with the conductor to send the signals to activate the termite chemical reaction heater in the setting tool and also was capable of holding the weight of 4.5 ton. 11th of September 2018, the operation was a success and the breaking news was communicated internally in Oka BP, both in Stavanger and in Oslo. Most operations where we can deploy uh, you know, our downhole equipment by Y-Line, it's a huge saving. It's only a Y-Line run and, uh, compared to a round trip with drill pipe. So that's where the big savings are. So we can work with fewer people and we can work smarter. We have equipment now that uh, can do the operation regulars. Altus Intervention are proud to challenge your future PMA solutions with Bisson and Arca BP and making intervention smarter.